Começou faz sete anos, é, junto com o Felipe, que é meu sócio hoje. Bem nessa pegada de, cara, apresentar um pouco mais pra galera de notícia do mundo do streetwear, um pouco mais de cultura, tudo que envolve, né, na verdade, uma peça de roupa. Cara, estamos há sete anos, começamos no online, aí a gente foi desenvolvendo a ideia de conseguir colocar cada vez mais vestuário, acessório, roupa, e aí foi ganhando corpo. Então hoje a gente tá se posicionando tanto no online quanto no físico. E, mano, esse ano vocês vão estar tá aí revendendo né, as peças da Red Bull e tal, mas você falasse um pouquinho sobre isso, pô. Mano, muito foda. Foi uma Red Bull, uma cultura gigantesca também, né? Que consegue abraçar, cara, desde atleta, estilo de vida. Então pra gente é muito foda isso, porque acaba casando com o DNA da loja. Eu, particularmente, sou muito fã. Trabalhei lá <risos> quase seis anos, só falando pra você. Então é muito foda, velho, poder ter esse momento, poder ter pessoas que você é da loja, é excepcional. E cada vez mais isso, né? Tipo, Pô, é uma cultura que envolve estilo de vida, envolve roupa, envolve posicionamento. Então acho que é uma coisa que acaba levando a outra. É isso, mano. Muito obrigado. Salve, salve, galera. Sejam bem-vindos a mais um Conexão Break Podcast. Hoje estamos aqui no Shopping Guatemi, na The Game. Mano, com um dos mais bravos e mais legendários b-boys. Mas antes da gente começar, quero lembrar vocês que dia 7 de dezembro vai rolar o Red Bull BC One. World Final aqui no Brasil. E se você não é de yeah. criança, ingresso, aqui ó, link aqui embaixo na descrição. Vai lá, acessa, compra e garanta já o seu. Demorou? Rapaziada, já sabem que meu inglês é aquele inglês das ruas, então a gente vai fazer esse, esse episódio aqui com crumbs, mas a gente vai ter também o auxílio do tradutor, caso precise. E é isso. Now, in English, welcome to Conexão Break Podcast. Today, I'm here with the legendary... B-Boy Crumbs! What's up, brother? What's Thanks up, Thanks for man? having me, man. So good Thank to be here in Brazil. I love it. I love it. Man, for the start, we're gonna quick quest, okay? It's a some question about your dance life, okay? Mm -hmm. It's very quick. First, favorite break movie? Shit. Um, uh, probably 90s, 1990s. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was the hardest break movie for you? The hardest breaking move. Um, shit, there's so many hard ones. Um, probably air flares. Air flares, yeah. yes. What is your best win? Best win? Yeah. There's, the there's a lot of good ones. Uh, probably freestyle session 2002 with style elements. This is uh, the most um, memorable. Okay. Okay. What was your worst lose? Worst lost would be shit. Probably Lords of the Floor 2001. 2001. Okay. But we didn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> great. The judges lost. <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great. What is better for? A barrel. Break set or break freestyle? For me? Yes. I mix both. Mix both. Yeah. Okay. This is the high level. Yes, nice. Barrel solo or barrel with crew? Crew. Crew. Yeah, yeah okay. What you are what was your best break trip? Best breaking trip. Probably because I was my, it was my first international trip or second, I think. But Battle of the Year 97 in Germany. Oh, nice. Very nice, man. Yes. History. What is your favorite event? Break event? Freestyle session. Freestyle session. Shout out to Cross One. What's your favorite movie that you participate in? Movie? Um, probably, probably You Got Served. You Got Served. But I don't like the movie. <laughs> but... I like the dancing. Yes, 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 yes. The last question, break culture or break sport? Always culture. Breaking is a culture, but I don't mind the sport aspect also, but it's always the roots. It's the culture. Okay, nice, nice. Very well, bro. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, now we can start. Uh, first, this is the, the first time you've come to Brazil, right? Second time? Second time. 
Do you remember the first time? Where? Where? 20, here in Sao Paulo. 2010 for Battle of the Year. Here in Campinas mm -hmm. also. Uh, Sao Paulo, maybe here. Yes, I, I think here in Campinas. About yesterday, what do you think, think feel about the battle, about the break competition, about, about B-boys and B-girls? Yeah, um, I definitely felt the passion from all the dancers. Yes. Um, all, not just the breaking, the, the, the girls, the all styles, everybody. Every, um, yeah, I felt um, the level is, is at a good level. Yeah. And um, some really good, good exchanges, like people, I feel the hunger. Okay, okay, nice. Let's talk about you, you about your journey now, My okay? Subject. Yeah. <laughs> yes. well, when did you start the dance, man? 1993. Why? Uh, I saw a couple kids in my junior high school. Yeah. Breaking. Yes. And uh, yeah, I saw, I was like, wow, that's crazy. I want to try this. Yes. But wh when, when did you start? Uh, you saw and uh, you could go to practice where? How? how? Yeah. No, I, I made friends with the guys that I saw. Yeah. And I started breaking with them. Ah, okay. So, uh, in, in this place, so where is this place? Is it school? School. It's cool. Mm -hmm. In your beginning, what you are most difficult thing for the start break? Um, for me, it wasn't that difficult because I was already doing other, other like sports, yes. and stuff like this. So I was already athletic and strong. And I was already, before breaking, I was already on my hand. I like to be upside down on my hands, walk down the stairs and stuff like this. Um, so it wasn't super hard for me. You know, I kind of like picked it up pretty quick. Oh, yeah. But of course, when you get to a high level, it's hard. Yes, 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 yes. And do you remember the first break move that you learned? Um, the first, probably flare. Flair, mm -hmm. yes, he, you remember how much time to, to go deep? Maybe like two months. Two months? Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. quick, man. <laughs> it's very quick. <laughs> In Brazil, I, I think in, for one, one guy that got a flare, well, one, one year. Yeah, that's typical. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah you very quick. But also, I did, I trained more hours. People train like two hours. Me, I train eight, 10 hours oh, every day. Yes. Yeah. So you get faster, better. Uh, a lot of time. Do you remember uh, your first first competition? Me. Or uh, a good memory? Yeah, my memory is so bad. No, I, I don't remember. I remember the beginning. Yeah. I don't remember the very first. Ah, uh, okay. But I do remember before, like, before I started breaking, when I was a little kid, I would always dance. And I would, um, I remember going on, like, a cruise with my family on the, sh on the ship. Yeah. And I was maybe, like, eight years old, and I entered the dance competition, and I won. And so this is probably my first competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. good yeah. And but no, no breaking, just... Just whatever, freestyle. Freestyle. A lot, a lot of people know you because you are different style, different combination, different concept. How did you create it? Uh, just, you know, in the 90s, we had a different guidelines, different mentality than today. Maybe a little bit different, a lot different. Um, so me and my crew, we always think originality Number one, yeah. yeah, originality, musicality, and foundation, like pyramid, you know. But for for me, originality is at the top, you know. And so, and we didn't have YouTube, no YouTube, no YouTube, no nothing, just so, V H V H V H S. But even then, there's really no no not many videos. Yes. You know? So we have to create always. So we train and we make up new moves, new styles. Because we don't watch anything. Now, people watch everything, and that's why they look the same. To know. Yeah. Uh, now about style, style elements. 
who creates the crew, the name? Uh -huh. So, in 1993, early 1994, we would enter competitions, different competitions together, and we'd make up new name, new name, new name, always, always new names. And uh, we'd win all the time. And we're like, we have to pick a name, <laughs> stick with it, you know, because we keep changing. Yeah. So, uh, so Ivan and Remind, they together, they came up with the name Style Elements in 1994. And then we stuck with that forever. Yeah. Uh, but um, how you found this guy for, for, for it? Well, okay, so where I'm from, in Modesto, California, yeah, 209. Um, you have Modesto and you have Stockton. They're very close together. In Modesto, it's me and Ivan, B-Boy Ivan. In Stockton is Remind and Quality. So these are, are the first like original style elements members. Yes. Right? And we would always go to jams. We go to Stockton, they come to Modesto. Uh, big parties, ciphers, you know, jams, not breaking competition, jabs, you know, all styles, music. And um, that's how we met in the ciphers. And then we're like, dang, you guys are the best in Stockton. We're the best in Modesto. So we need to join forces. And then we took over California. Yeah, 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 nice. But you, you battle against these guys? In the ciphers? Not really, just exchange. Yes, exchange. just yeah. change the energy. What's your first time that you leave USA to another country for a competition? Battle of the Year, no? No. Before Battle of the Year, I went to Japan, my first trip. Japan? Yeah. Good. With uh, tribal gear? Yeah, tribal gear. Tribal, yeah. So that was my first, uh, I was maybe 16 years old. Yeah, so... That was crazy. I was still like in high school. And and you win? Yeah. In the battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was more shows. Shows, oh, okay. I did battle out there too. Battle so break one on one, break break crew. Uh it was I was a, it was a crew. Crew. Yeah, it was me, Floor Rock, and Crazy Legs. Oh mm -hmm. so that was ninety seven. Yeah. yeah. Good. After this experience, what's changing in your life? This one? Japan? Yeah, yeah. Oh. That just like let me know what's possible, you know. Let me know that I can travel. I can. I'm good everywhere around the world. I can win in Japan. I can win in Germany. I can win anywhere. So it yeah, I knew like okay, I'm I'm at a high level. So it made me want to train more, get better, and open more doors. Uh, so it just gave me more inspiration, more passion, more fire. Nice, man. This is great. This is a break life. That's what it's about. You go to, to this competition for a of the year for another. But what you make to survive? Work? No. What you do? Breaking. Just breaking. Just breaking. But breaking, getting money to you. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, um, you know, as, as a... This time in the beginning, I'm living with my family. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm like 16, you know. Um, we go, we train for the competitions, maybe win 500, 1,000, you know, $1,000. Um, so I didn't need much money at that yeah. time. And then when I turned 18, I moved to Los Angeles. And that's when I started doing the movies. Uh, music videos, commercials, then we were making good money, you know? So um, I'm lucky I never had to really work a, a job job, but because I put so much, I put everything into breaking, you know? So yeah, I, I just survive off, off the culture. Nice. Oh, Kazu, vou precisar de você agora só para perguntar, fazer essa pergunta. Pergunta para ele, tipo assim... Então, desde essa época, ele vive só de break até hoje. Break, only breaking. Yeah. Not stop, just only breaking. Only breaking. Man, this is great, amazing. Be by the game. Mm. How? How it? How, how it came? Yes. Okay, so, you know UK championships? Yes. Championships in London? 
uh, Fuch, the organizer of this event, um, PlayStation was a sponsor mm. for UK B-Boy Championships. And so they were talking about doing a B-Boy game. And they did it, you know? So when they, when they got the, um, the, the clearance to do the game, yeah, they started picking the characters that they want. And they, for the style elements, they use me and, and I, yes, you know, so I really love this game. I think it, I don't know, I don't know why I stopped. They should do like, like Madden, like every year. Yeah. You know, and see the technology grow. Like imagine today, if we had a beat one. Yeah. I mean, fucking crazy. Right? Fucking crazy, man. But always this game is, is special for me, like, because it's the first and it came out really good. You know, the music, the traditional breaks, yes. beats, you know, traditional uh, e-boys. It had everything. Yes, for me, it's special too, because uh, first time that uh, I play it, mm -hmm. I, I saw breaking, I saw you, because uh, I saw you in movies, but I, I don't know, it, it, it's crummy. For on, me, in the game, yeah, in the game? Oh, in the yes, movie, yeah. in the yeah. movies, I, I I don't know crumbs, but in the game, I saw you. Whoa, this this guy is crazy, amazing. He, for me, is my Kazuko Mega Fall Formação. Yes, by the game is me my academy. Yeah, academy, yeah, yeah. 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 Name, move, name, um, experience, yeah. battle. This is what's very good about it too. It's a history lesson. Also. Yes. <laughs> now about cinema. Moves. Mm -hmm. When did you got the cinema? What was first move that you participating? Uh, the first movie. Uh, the first movie was was one called. Um, it's a Spanish movie. Spanish. It's called the Princess and the Body of Boy. And it's uh, yeah, it's it's, it's it was a HBO movie. Yeah. Which is HBO is a big channel in the USA. Um. And it had a lot of famous like Mexican actors and stuff. So me and my crewmate J Rock, we did um, a dance scene in the in the the party, like a quinceanera party. It's like, yeah. So that was my very first one, yeah. And um, and it was cool. It was a good experience. Do you remember how many movies you participating? Not, Not a lot, but maybe like seven, something like this. Yeah. You, you you saw for me is you you got servant is a uh, special Classic. special yes because uh, my my brother brought to my to my home hey look at it look at it. bro in the final round you mm -hmm. destroy it bro is yeah, great sin yeah I made sure that I was gonna be remembered yes you know I mean? and it if you notice. This is what I don't like about movies and music videos is they take the dancing and they cut, 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 cut yeah, cut, cut, like two seconds, two seconds, two. You don't, you don't feel, you don't see the move. You don't, you know, it's bad. But for me, they don't cut. We just <laughs> yeah, the whole time. I so would bet. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, but but it's good also because uh, for me, I I saw it in. I can make it yep. also, yes. Uh, of course, yep. About Lord, Lord of the Floor, you and uh, participating 2001, 2002, yep. now 2024. 2024. Uh, tell me about this experience in the in the event. Um, well, Lord of the Floor was Red Bull's first breaking event. Yeah. So you know, I'm I'm glad to be a part of the original before BC1, you know, way before. Um, and it was uh, the first two, 2001, 2002, was, um, was very big energy, big vibe, uh, the best. Yeah. The best breakers at this time, you know. And for me, I always loved two versus two, you know, because you have your, your sidekick, you know, your, your partner, and you can do routines and you have a little bit of rest before you solo. So you yes. really, really blow it up. Um, so this format for me of battle is the best, you know? And um, so to 
be at the the first one and then 24 years 25 years later be again still doing this for me is just yeah thank god you know and do you uh, i bro i forgot the name your partner remind no the 2024 oh ruin ruin yeah, running yeah. ruin sorry ruin <laughs> sorry yeah Powerful you broke you broke it man yo yeah i did uh, he ruined did very good me yeah. no man your first your first I, I house had a, i had a bad bad day you know it wasn't a good day for me but i still think we went yeah <laughs> man um in your journey we to break what was the worst moment for you the worst okay yeah so when i I, I I broke my bone in my shoulder. That was the worst because it was my only real injury. Oh. So the my whole career, I've been breaking 31 years. So I only have one surgery, which is very good. You know, it's so, yeah. So 2018, uh, I broke my shoulder in a cipher on the concrete, Yeah, you know, in Colombia. So this was not good. Uh, How many time you uh, been is uh, stopping because it uh eight months mm. yeah so a long time and then rehab you know physical therapy it takes time yeah man yeah go go to the best move best best moments mm -hmm. yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, about your uh, choreography work work man let's talk about about this uh okay so From the beginning, yeah, style elements. We always work together as a crew with crew routines and uh, two man routines. We always did shows, always did showcases, and so we're doing this early. By the time when I moved to LA to do the big stuff, yeah, um, we already had choreography. So now when they ask us, can you do a routine for this movie or this artist? I'm like, yeah, it's easy. Okay. No problem. Bam, 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 done. And then it's like the best routine in the show, you know, because most dynamic. Yes. And most original. So even all the choreographers in Hollywood, like they would always hire us because they knew that they can't do what we do. So they wanted the, the explosion in their, in their work. Yes. So they always used us for that. Um, it just comes from experience, you know, and we always, in, in, in everything from the showcases to Hollywood to the battles, always, uh, we, we, we like made crew routines popular. Yes. In battles, you know? Yeah. It is just before, They were doing routines, but not like us. We did whole crew, like eight, ten men, you know, before they didn't do this. But we did this at freestyle session and then everybody. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what was the, the best uh, work with choreographic? You, you, the, you, you best. Or like, for like art, like Hollywood? Art, yeah. Yeah. Um, probably... I would say probably Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake? Yeah. Because he didn't break, you know? Yeah. So I'm working with somebody fresh, like beginner, right? Yeah. But he, he loved watching breaking and he wanted to learn. So for a pop star, because Justin Timberlake is... You don't care, you know, like, but he cares. Yeah. So for me, it's like, okay, you serious? Like, let's go. So we, he put the time in and to see him go from the beginner to what I taught him in a little bit of time, you know, it was good. And to see him do it on stage in the crowd every night. Yeah. It's like, it's representing me. You know what I mean? So I thought that was very special. Oh, nice, nice, nice. For finish... Now about the uh, break Olympics, you judge it, okay? Uh, not the Olympics. I judged before. 
Eh? No, you know, um, the qualifiers. Qualifier. Yeah. For two years before the Olympics. Yeah. I judge. But the Olympics, I don't judge. Yeah. But what, what do you think about breaking a limp kid now in, Par in Paris? Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Um, nothing's perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? It take, it's, it's new. And the breaking has been around for a long time, but in the Olympics, yeah. it's the first time. So it's not going to be perfect. You know, you need to fix things and, and say, okay, this is good. This is no good. We get rid of that. This is good. This is no good. Get rid of that. But it takes time. You need to keep doing it. So for the first time, I think it was okay. It was okay. I like that. We got to play our music. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is huge. This is really good. I like the setup with the crowd and everybody was hype and, and the whole setup. Was yeah. Really yeah. Good. Um, the breakers were very good. Um, but, you know, the media kind of does what they want. Yeah. You know what I mean, they don't focus on the good. They just want to focus on something to make fun of, you know. So this is not our control we can't we can't do anything about that yeah but i was happy with it. okay okay um for today what do you hope uh, to the matter oh man i just i just want to see everybody have fun and you know show who they are yeah right that's the most important it's like winning and losing changes every day Yeah, you know, this crew can win today, but lose tomorrow. So it's not really about winning and losing. It's it's being remembered, like letting the judges, the DJ, the people, the audience, the hosts, letting them remember who you are, making a statement. So I I that's what I'm looking for, somebody to make me remember them. So that's what I'm looking forward to to see who shines. Yeah, when you lose, man, great. Bro, yeah, this is it. Thank you for coming. Uh, I think you that like it. Um, for me, it's a pleasure you'll be here with me, with my, my partners. This is it, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Glad to be here, too. Yeah, I man. To be, you know, I hope to come back to Brazil. I should be here every year. Yeah, you know? man. I've never been to Rio. I need to, you know, do more things out here and teach and help the community grow and spread that style elements love you know because i don't think brazil sees enough style elements so we need to come more yeah man valeu então rapaziada é isso b boy crumbs fechamos aqui com estilo valeu demais valeu the game valeu red bull tamo junto e valeu principalmente eju que filme que está somando demais tamo junto rapaziada até o próximo conexão break let's go